Isaiah 43 is God proclaiming not only his love for his people, but how he alone is capable of protecting them and keeping his promise to them. And while this was written to the nation of Israel, there's so much we can learn about the greatness of God, the sovereignty of God, and the nature of God for his people. And as the church grafted in, we are included in these promises. For instance, in verse one, the Lord says, fear not for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name, you are mine. In verse seven, he says, everyone who is called by my name, whom I have created for my glory. See, we were created by him. We were redeemed by him and it was all for his glory. Our created purpose is to worship him, to glorify him. If we aren't doing that, we've missed our true reason for existence. Finding fulfillment in anything else is temporary. All other pleasures are fleeting. Eternity will not remember those lesser things. As a worshiper, it is a reminder to not only rejoice in what God has done for us, but to magnify who God is during our time of worship. That is where we find our purpose, when we remind ourselves of the power of God and that He calls us His. It is then and only then that fear has to flee, because God's love and protection isn't tied to my value or goodness, it's tied to His. He isn't defending me, He's defending His name and I am now redeemed and called by that name. Verse 21 says this, This people I have formed for myself, they shall declare my praise.